blessed morning and happy morning po sa bat buhay ng bat isa. Again, it's a privilege to each one of us because the love of the Lord is new early in the morning. That's why we have the privilege to hear His good news and even yung kanyang daily bread po na ibinibigay po sa atin. So this morning, let us start this devotion with prayer. So let's pray po. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to your throne, to the grace of throne, and Lord, we're asking that you will continue to reveal yourself towards each one of us. Not only, Lord, yung ikaw, pero yung kalooban mo po ay maunawaan namin at maintindihan po namin. At sa gayon, ikaw po'y patuloy namin masunod at magawa kung ano man ang nais mo sa aming mga buhay. We submit to you our hearts, we submit to you our lines, we submit to you our mind, at ayaw mo, Panginoon, have your way to each one of us. Hayaan mong kausapin mo po kami sa pamamagitan ng iyong salita at gumawa ka po sa amin na kamangha-manghang bagay. Purihin ka, Diyos, sapagat we believe you are victorious through this devotion na God. We give you the praise, we give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. At so mga pong ito, we're privileged to each one of us. It's a privilege to each one of us to hear the word of the Lord again and... I want to share po kung ano po yung gustong iparating ng Panginoon sa atin. Alam ko po yung iba, maaring you have heard this passage, but I really want to go on and go deep dito po sa passage na ito. Sabi po ng John chapter 15, verse 16, You did not choose me, but I choose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, He may give it to you. So our topic for this morning to our daily devotion, we are a chosen one. We are chosen. You are chosen. Lahat po tayo ay pinili ng Panginoon. Kagaya ng sinabi ng ating Panginoong Sokristo, hindi tayo ang pumili sa Kanya, subalit siya ang pumili sa atin. There are times in our life, meron tayong mga pinipiling bagay, pero yung mga pinipili natin, minsan hindi tayo ang pinili. Pero ito, hindi natin pinili ang Diyos, pero siya ang pumili sa atin. And sabi rin po ng salita ng Diyos in Matthew chapter 22 verse 14, Many are called but few are chosen. Ang ilan sa atin, nananatili lang doon sa mga tinawag, pero iilan lang ang chosen. So today, I really want to share to you in a deep way kung ano po yung sinasabi ng ating Panginoon. I really want to show to you yung two truths bilang chosen ng ating Panginoon and one of the privilege as a chosen of the living God. Ulitin ko po let, there are two, two truths bilang chosen and one privilege as a chosen of the living God. And I hope that everyone will never just stop as being called pero pipiliin po natin that we are going to under in the process of the living God to be chosen by the Lord. Again, you are not just called, you are a chosen one of the living God. And these are the two truths so that you are able to see that you are walking as a chosen people of the living God or a chosen generation of the living God. The first truth of being chosen, ang sabi po doon, you are chosen and appointed to go. You are to go. As the Bible says also, sabi po ng Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 to 20, you have to go and preach the gospel and teaching them, discipling them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we, as a chosen people of the living God, dapat lagi po tayong go sa pinapagawa ng Panginoon. We have to be a witness of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have to share. He have to pray every moment. In all times, we have to pray. We have to worship Him. We have to be on the go every time na may ipapagawa po ang Diyos sa atin. As a chosen generation, you don't have the excuses para po hindi natin sundin at gawin kung ano po ang kalooban ng ating Panginoon. Sabi po dyan sa verse, ng verse 16 po ng John chapter 15, ang sabi doon, as a chosen, you are appointed that you should go. Ibig sabihin, bilang chosen ng people, when God says something, pag sinabi niyang ganto pumunta tayo sa kanan, we are to go to the right side or to the right place. Pagkat yan po, ang katotohanan sa pinili ng Diyos, yan ang katotohanan if you are chosen. The second truth that you are going to see in this verse, if you are a chosen people, you will see that you will bear fruits and not just bearing fruits, but the word of God says, your fruits will last. So bilang chosen, 
dapat namumunga po pala tayo. And this is what the Lord hates sometimes na po. Naalala niyo po ba yung fig tree kung saan ang Panginoon ay nagutom at nung time na titingin siya ng bunga dun sa fig tree, wala. And He cursed the fig tree because there's no fruit. And I believe so, God in our lives as a chosen people of the living God, He re- really wanted for us to have fruits and our fruits to bear. Hallelujah. So, naniniwala po ako ng bunga po natin ay hindi lamang dapat bunga, subalit ito ay mananatili. Pagkat yan ang kalooban ng Diyos atin. If you are a chosen of the living God, you are to bear fruits. Kaya kapatid, let us check ourselves. If it's been a while, tumagal na po tayo sa Panginoon, dapat namumunga na po tayo. Maaring ang bunga natin, kaluluwa, we win souls, o maaring sa mga talento, sa gifts, sa ministeryo, at igit sa lahat, yung pinaka the best na bunga na maaring meron po tayo, yan po ang sinasabi ng salita ng Panginoon in Galatians, that is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. So I hope that every one of us will bear fruits, and I pray that yung bunga po natin ay hindi lang mamumunga ng gusto, subalit ito ay mananatili, pagkat we are a chosen people, we are a chosen one of the living God. And one of the benefits or one of the thing na pinakamaganda privilege po na tayo pag tayo'y pinili ang sabi po dun sa huling verse ang sabi doon, whatever you name so that the Father will glorify you whatever you ask in my name in the Father it will be given to us so that the Father will be glorified so ibig sabihin po if we are doing the truth in being chosen, kung gagawin po natin ang katotohanan bilang tayo pinili ng Panginoon, ang sabi po ng salita ng Diyos, ito'y totoo, ano man ang hilingin natin, uulitin ko po ulit. That's not my word, but this is the word of the living God. It says, whatever things you ask, it shall be given unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's one of the greatest privilege as a chosen generation. So, hindi po sapat yung oras para patunayan sa inyo yung mga patotoo na talagang pag ginawa mo itong bagay na to yung katotohanan na meron sa bilang pinili ka ng Diyos at hindi lang tinawag makikita mo talaga ng Panginoon ay tumutugon sa iyo so I believe so no if we just going to stand in the truth and walk to the truth as a so chosen by God as a chosen one by the living God then we will enjoy also the privilege that He has promised to each one of us. And I hope this morning we will continue to walk to the will of the living God as a chosen people of God. Kapatid, maaring hindi ka pinili ng tao, maaring hindi ka pinipili ng karamihan, maaring sa iba, hindi ikaw ang pinipili. Pero again, sabi ng Panginoon, hindi mo siya pinipili. Maaring sometimes we neglect God, we forgot forget God. Minsan, second rate lang si God. But again, if we come to the Lord, ang sabi niya, hindi, niya, hindi tayo pumili sa Kanya, pero pinili tayo ng Diyos. Let us not forget that. That the Lord always choose us. Pinili ka ng Diyos. Hinirang ka ng Diyos for us to bear fruits and fruits may last and that we can go on sa kalooban ng Panginoon so that we can enjoy the privilege to us in the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ. And I hope that you are blessed through the word of the living God. Tapusin po natin ang devotion na ito ng pananalangin. So let us come in prayer right now. Father in heaven, kagaya ng sinabi mo po sa iyong salita, God, whatsoever we ask in your name, it shall be given to us. Kaya ang unang hiling ko po, Panginoon, yung katotohanan bilang pinili mo, Lord, the truth as we are chosen by you, God, right now, we pray that it will flow to us. That whatsoever things that you ask in us or what you have given us to each one of us, Lord, we may go. Gawin po namin ito. Masunod ka po namin yung kalooban mo. At Lord, doon sa pagsunod po namin as we go, doing your will, O God, we pray that we will bear much fruit and our fruit will last in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And Lord, as we're doing that, as people that is chosen, I pray, O oh God, that you will showcase your power to each one of us, that whatsoever we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it shall be given to each one of us. So today, God, in Jesus' name, I bless everyone who hears your word, God, as they go, as they bear fruits, O oh God, 
We pray that we, you will continue to bless each one of us, provide everything that we need, heal every wounds of our hearts, pains that we have in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I de declare peace for those people who need peace. I declare rest for those people who is restless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, right now, we thank you because I believe something supernatural is happening to everyone who hears your word. You have supernaturally empowered us us, you have supernaturally equip us to your mighty words so that Lord, hanggang sa muli mong pagbabalik, madadatnan mo po kami na lumalakad ayon sa iyong kalooban bilang mga hinirang at pinili mo o Diyos. We give you the praise, we give you the honor, we give you the worship for what you've done and for all the things that you're doing and for what you're going to do in our lives. Salamat po Panginoon, ito pong aming dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and Amen. God bless you all guys and as we always says every morning every gising is a blessing